Here we have David Smith's Lent Turn Sentinel from 1961. It's a sculpture that I think really relates nicely to ideas he had about drawing in space and even his interest in something like collage. He was routinely making sculpture by welding materials together. It's a work that you can almost take apart in your mind. And even though it's made up of these disparate parts, it becomes a solidified and singular thing. It's really nice for us here at the Whitney to have this work installed outside. It always makes me think about David Smith's own studio at a place called Bolton Landing in the Adirondacks. And he routinely installed these fields of sculptures, these rows of sculptures really, outside. He was interested in seeing them not in a studio space, in a kind of more a traditional space, but I also think he was really interested in seeing them against the landscape and seeing them against the light. And so I think having it out here on the terrace with the changing weather, with the changing light, is something that he really would have appreciated and intended for the sculpture in a lot of ways. I've also always been interested in the title of the sculpture. It's called Lantern Sentinel. And of course, Sentinel is a thing that stands over you or watches over you. And a lot of David Smith's sculptures have always seemed very anthropomorphic to me, that they reference a body. They're considered abstract sculptures. I still think there's something very anthropomorphic about them. And this idea of this sentinel, this figure kind of standing up, very vertical, very upright, looking over you, even this round form at the top, really seems to connect nicely both to the title and the idea that it's abstract, but it's really also about a body and a body in space.